Hi everyone, welcome to Real Estate Conversations with Ruben Construction. I'm your host, Tara Monique, and we are back at Ocean Ridge today. We're here checking on one of the properties, the one with the amazing view. You already know what I'm talking about, right? We're here, we're checking in, seeing what's going on. It's a very active day on this site, so hard hat is on. We're gonna walk through, see what's going on, and see if we can find Mr. Ruben himself, Raymond, and find out what's going on. So let's go see. So they're delivering some blocks today, so the guys are taking that off the truck, they're offloading that. So we're gonna go around the other side of the property and start the tour of downstairs. Then we're gonna head back upstairs and see what we can find out what's going on. Oops. Yeah, yeah. So already you're getting to see the amazing view of this property. It's probably the most unique thing about this property is that it's on a particular lot where there's absolutely nothing in front of it and nothing will ever be able to block the view. This property has maximized the potential of getting 180, maybe 190 degrees of just ocean view. I'm obsessed with it. I can't stop talking about it. It's just the best thing ever. So we're downstairs and we're gonna see what's been happening because the last time we were here, not much happened except that the foundation was up, but I'm sure that some electrical work has been happening or something. So we'll see what we can find and then we'll go find Raymond upstairs. So already we're seeing lots of electrical work. We're seeing a lot of cords, pipes. You hear the noise because the guys are here working. So looking good. And again, the view from this side. just absolutely amazing so we're gonna check the other side and then we're gonna head upstairs so more electrical work pipes so this is basically for downstairs we know that it has bedrooms bathrooms Dining, lounge area, all that great stuff. So we're gonna go find Raymond. So we're gonna head back this way because as I said, it's an active day on the site. So we really wanna be safe and avoid all areas where things are falling or that the guys are actively doing some work. So we're upstairs and the guys are working, so we're being very careful and I need to find Raymond. Coming through. Raymond. Hey, what's up? Hello. Yeah, man, how are you doing? Doing fine. Fine. Uh, Popping in on the work, what's going on? Uh, not much. Um, yeah, we're just here putting in some work. You know, we've been having a lot of rain lately, so right now yeah. we're just trying to get um keep pushing. You know, as the weather improves. So we're actually going a little later today. Nice. But still within, you know, the approved limits in terms of the good. time. Good, good, good. Yeah, so basically you now we're just kinda of working on our apex walls, trying to focus on getting those out, you know, for the roof formation. So a lot has have definitely happened since I was here last time. Uh, but, I don't um, think upstairs was any we're close to what I'm seeing now. So right. progress is definitely happening. We're moving along. I mean it's a you know it's a challenging project. Very challenging, but um I guess you could say we're a past the worst. Yeah. Because we're actually now working on the belting for the main level. Mm -hmm. So we can go ahead and set up the wallpaper and put the roof on. So that's really what we're focusing on right now. 
But um, there's a ridge that runs right across in terms of the main roof. Mm -hmm. So we're trying to bring those walls up so we can get ready to um, get that coordinated. Nice, nice, nice. That coordinated. Because right now, you're actually in the master. All right, right now I'm actually on the master balcony. Nice. Right. Um, but this is actually inside the master bedroom. So if you were to kind of look beyond some of the um, scaffolding work, we actually have a double TV wall design here. Yep. And we also have a double um, side table wall design. So um, our clients can actually switch between walls if they choose. So determine where they want to put their bed, where so they want to put the TV. Where they want to put the head of the bed and the television. Nice. All right. Very nice. Um, so like I said, this is the master bedroom. This is actually the master closet. Um, this is a very deep closet, as you can see. I love it, it for our closet. Two, two windows. <laughs> love it. You get me? Amazing. You know, very very nice. spacious. So all the shoes right here. So like I said, the clients, they, they really enjoy that kind of space and setup. And they were very integral in the concept okay, of the good. design. Mm. You know, because one of the aspects of what we do is when you're doing dream homes, you really want it to be personalized. Right, understand? you really want to give them what they want. Very specific. So yep. sometimes you may be watching yeah. and there's something that you may not like how it's set up. Mm -hmm. But there are clients that that's exactly what they want. Yeah. You get me? Good. Um, so like I said, master bedroom, master closet, and then this is the master bath. All right. So for the master bath, we actually are doing some conversions here setting up some some high windows kind of running them like a you know transom right right so this is actually going to be an enclosed area for the water closet mm -hmm. right and here is actually set up to look behind the table for a double vanity and then all of this section is actually designed as a wet area so there's going to be a rain shower here and okay. then right in this space is actually going to be a soaker tub. And this will be glass. This is going to be all glass. Wow. You get me? So let me move this form to give you a better view out. All right. So these are actually, this is actually the drain pipe for the tub. Mm -hmm. And these are the hot and cold water for the tub filler. You get me? So it's pretty unique. It's amazing. I just really can imagine after like a long day of work, you're in the tub, looking out on the view, watching the sunset. Well, it's wow. better than that. Remember, most of our clients are returning residents. So yes. The long day of work. It's is not even. No more. Uh, wow. So this even is better. all day. Just all the time. You know, sleep, wake up, <laughs> enjoy, and you just, just sleep again. You know, Love that's it. what it is. Yeah, man. So this is a very unique view. You understand? This is pretty much as good as it gets every day. You know, you can see Cuba right out there in the distance, actually. You understand? Um, and this also gives a view to the remainder of the property because this property actually goes down 277 feet. Wow. It's a very large um, lot of land, you know? And then you are also able to see the balcony on the uh, middle level. And you'll also be able to actually see the swimming pool across. Nice. So, like I said, it's a very unique, very personalized design. Mm -hmm. You understand? In fact, because we're even going to have some jets in the shower area that the clients have requested. You understand? Very unique. So, moving out to the master area. Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, on this side, we have a powder room and we have the home office, mm -hmm. you understand? Like I said, that view is just priceless. And for that very reason, we have to make this all glass. Right, There's no other. On it. There's no other way right. to be a disservice. Mm -hmm. So this is all glass because nobody can actually be staring in because nobody can build to a height to block this view. And nobody can, can see anything really. The, Exactly. Trust me, trust me. Uni. Amazing, amazing. All right, so this is a little walkway that takes you down to enter into the living space. All right, so on this level, um, in the section of the living room that we are now, very unique, you know, we go three levels down. So on this level is actually the entrance to 
the elevator okay. that takes you all the way down mm -hmm. to um, the third level of the house. Mm -hmm. You get me? And then this is a little mini balcony of the living area mm -hmm. as well. And then this is just all glass that goes down to level two. Wow. You know? Um, again, you know, different in concept, different in design. And this will actually allow a direct view into the swimming pool. Wow. That's on level two. You get me? Um, very nice. Yeah, different. And this pool will have lights and all of the fixtures this, and everything, this right? This pool is going to be special. Um, we won't give away too much, mm. you know, but it is something to think about if I nice. may say so myself, <laughs> you know? Nice. <laughs> um, so from the living area now, you know, we move across to the kitchen. So if you are to walk carefully this way, let's navigate. This area is actually designated for dining. This is an open concept kitchen actually designed by our clients, right? Um, so there's an island here. Um, kind of faint mark kind of illustrates where the island okay. is going to be. And it's going to be a seating. So over here, you know, we have a wall mounted oven. Um, you have your farm sink, um, your dishwasher, you know, and that goes all the way around. To the very end there mm -hmm. and then over on this side we have the refrigerator we have the stove of course our style you know we have a pot filler you get me and then all of this now flows back into the dining area nice very nice right and now on this side we have the laundry and we also have the garage and then even from the dining area again the view just keeps every angle you go the view wow. is just very pronounced because i was just thinking about that dining here but still being able to see the view in the definitely. morning in the afternoon in the evening definitely it's amazing. and like i said this is all a custom job we do the technical sides of the design they just tell me what but they like want. my client said you know like i mentioned it in a previous video like she had really one the wife had one main request mm -hmm. she wants to be able to go from the road level just walk in the house when she opens the door she wants to see Cuba. Okay. Sure, no problem. We can well, do that. The wife gets what she wants, okay? All, well. Happy wife. Most times. <laughs> most times. Happy wife, happy most life. Time. I like that. Yeah. Very so, good. So now what we're really working on, like I said, is getting the belt in up. Um, to put now, we're actually using a concrete gutter bed mm -hmm. for here. Mm -hmm. um, we have the tiles um, from Spain already locked in. So on. So pretty much now, like I said, we're moving into the roof, but we still have a lot of the technical work that we're finishing up in terms of electrical and the plumbing to get it right before we start, you know, doing the walls, getting them flushed and so on. If you walk with me again in this section, um, for the portico at the front, we have a rather unique setup with these columns. Um, this is going to be defining for the house in terms of the architecture. You understand? um and yeah something to think about lovely excited to see when some of the other finishing touches go on also obsessed with the signature extravagant different. doors different. love it different so yeah different. thank you because these are going to be eight foot doors mm -hmm. um and there's going to be a little transept on, on top as well um and like i said the columns really give way to the uniqueness of it where using like two main architectural styles that we're sort of blending but we're still able to kind of bring mm. a real feel in terms of the aesthetics because we believe in architecture and the need to have an impact yeah you understand we don't like situations where you go and build a house now and in three months it looks like it was built 20 years ago i get you yeah, and 20 years from now, we want the house to look like it was built yesterday. Yeah. Trust me. So you're trying to keep it as modern, as contemporary fresh, as fresh, possible. Yeah. Fresh. Love it. Fresh. Amazing. Fresh. Yeah. Fresh. It's really good. Yeah. Well, you know, thank you so much for that. I'm so excited to see what happens next when we come back. Definitely. <laughs> so thank you so much for tuning into this week's episode. Really appreciate you guys coming in with us going through the house with us i know you're excited to see everything and there's a lot more to come so see you next time bye big up <laughs>